Hi, I'm Nikki from Find Me Crafting. Giving a coffee shop gift card is a popular gift for pretty much anyone at pretty much any occasion. That's because whether they're looking for a hit of caffeine or hot cocoa during the chilly months, this is going to be a winner of a gift. But how can we kick it up a notch? How can we make this look even better? Well, I've got an idea for you. These are reusable coffee cup sleeves. They're made of cotton fabric, and there's a tutorial for these that is super quick, easy, and fast. And you can size this to any size cup. So I'm using the disposable Starbucks cup. You can also use a ceramic cup. You can use their hot cups, their cold cups, whatever you want. You can size this to fit. That tutorial will be linked in the description box down below. And one of the other awesome parts about this particular coffee sleeve is that it is reversible. Look at that, two fabrics, two really cute patterns in one. So whether they're drinking hot beverages or cold, this is going to keep their hand comfortable and their drink looking super cute. In this video, I have a quick little hack for making these, which are already really quick, just a little bit faster and a little bit easier for your pattern placement when you're cutting out your fabric. And once you've made a whole collection of these, because just try and make one and stop, I dare you. Once you get to that point, I have these tags available for free to print out so that you can include a gift card with your coffee sleeve, or if you'd like to just skip the gift card and just give the coffee sleeve, I have cute little tags like this that you can attach. Either one is gonna make this one heck of an awesome gift. Come on, I'll show you how. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new patterns or projects. You wanna start by printing off the free pattern from oaklaroots.com. This is fantastic. She has an entire tutorial for how to make these sleeves and her free pattern will make three different sizes. She has a small, this is kind of the regular small size. Then she has one called the cardigan. That's like this size here. Actually, I think that that's a small. I think that's this size here, the cardigan. And then she has one called the parka, which is the largest size. I'm gonna be making the cardigan size, which is the medium one. I think that one's my favorite. You print it out and you're going to have patterns for each of the different sizes. This is the parka size. This is the fusible fleece that goes in the center. And then she has the separate pattern for the outer panel. That's a little bit bigger so that you don't catch your fusible fleece in your seam. You're going to need both of those. And then on her videos, she shows you how to size these so that you can get the perfect size for any cup. So you could size them for this ceramic sort of cup. It doesn't have to be Starbucks, obviously. It can be any cup or mug that you want to size it to. But this one I've made before, this is mine, and it fits perfectly onto this one. So it doesn't fall down, it's just perfect. You can size that up for a cup like that. You can also size it up for the disposable paper cups. That's what I'm gonna be doing today. This is a hot cup, you can size them up. These are very similar in size, these two, but any mug or cup that you want, you can create a coffee sleeve that fits perfectly. So this one is sized for the paper cup. You can see that fits perfect. See, it's gonna stay up without falling. And I have two of them. But if you compare them, if you lay them flat and line them up, you can see that this one is a bit larger, so it fits just right. And it's super easy to do, and these are awesome. Once you get started, you're not gonna wanna stop making these. And here's a little hack. This is my hack for you. Once you get your pieces all sized for whatever cups you're making it for, so this is the fusible fleece and the outer panel for the ones I'm going to be sizing it to, which are these disposable paper cups. You go to Dollar Tree and get a two pack of the cutting boards. They're bendable plastic, but sturdy and a little bit see-through, which is awesome for this next part. So I'm gonna take my two pattern pieces that I have sized up. I know these are the right size for the cups I wanna make. You trace your pattern. Then you're going to just take some scissors and cut out your templates. 
So I just wrote the details on here. Here's where I'm going to put it against the fold to cut my fabric. And I also wrote Starbucks paper cups so that I don't forget what I made these templates for. There are two reasons why I love making these templates out of the Dollar Tree cutting boards. One of, the, one of the reasons is that when you lay it down, you actually can see the pattern through the cutting board. When you have the paper copy, you can't see it at all. So if there's anything in particular that you're trying to make sure it gets cut out, it's hard to do with the paper one. The plastic one, you can see the pattern through this. So this section of my fabric right here is darker than this section and this section still. Now, if I want to do it like this, or if I wanted to get it half and half, I'm going to be able to see where I'm placing this. I'm going to be able to see what's underneath. Here's another example. I'm going to make a Thanksgiving fall one. And you can see there's all these different colors. This is not the same pattern across the whole piece of fabric. So depending on what I want to see, I'm going to be able to see it through the template. And that is really super useful. The second thing that I really like to do with the template that's on the plastic, you have to do this very, very carefully. <laughs> it scares me a little, but at the same time, it's such a time saver that I do it, even though it's scary. Once you have it lined up and your, your part of the template is on the fold, you can take your rotary cutter and very, very carefully cut so I can get it all cut out without having to trace and then cut by hand, I can just use my rotary cutter. Once you've sewn your coffee sleeves, you can print out the gift tags to attach. There's a link in the description box down below where you can go subscribe to my website and receive the download. For the best results, I like to print my gift tags on cardstock. Then just cut them out, hole punch them, and tie them on with a pretty ribbon. If you want to include a gift card, also cut out the grayish rectangles that will print on the page with the tags and use adhesive or glue to adhere three sides of the rectangle to the back of the larger tag. Insert a gift card to your favorite coffee shop and they're ready to give away. Happy crafting!